Hey everybody, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. I hope you guys are all having a good day today. I'm doing fantastic. Guys, I once again, you know, I say this a lot, but I do want to thank you for all of your continued support. There's so many great comments. I love reading comments, by the way. Uh, I read all the comments on all the videos, and, you know, it's just so much fun to record videos. And, like, don't get me wrong, I love recording videos either way. But it's so much easier to record when things are actually going in a positive direction. Like, I, I get so pumped to get these videos out to you guys. So, um, the first thing that we're going to be doing today is working on this guy. Because we made this thing the other day. Or not the other day, a couple episodes back. But uh, we kind of just left it like this. And right now, this thing is like basically not working. It's not working. It's super inefficient. Uh, there's a lot that can be done, basically. Uh, and one of the main things about slimes is, is their size, you know? So slimes, they're that, like, that two-by-two two block. That's, like, right in here. So if they're, if there's, like, a chance that they're gonna spawn anywhere near this torch, it's not gonna work. So basically, the torches are taking up spawn spaces as one of the problems. So, went to the nether, got myself a bunch of glowstone. It's, it's so awesome to be like, I can go to the nether now. Because, you know, our nether finally works. But um, So the, the, what we're going to do now is I'm going to litter the top of this room with um, with glowstone. And then, um, now I don't know if this makes a difference or not, but the floor spawning. I know for a fact that they can spawn on stone. So what I think I'm going to do is change the floor to stone. And then, uh, in typical Jevin fashion... I'm going to change the walls to, to, to like to brick and stuff. So one of the reasons why, you know, I saw a couple comments on a couple episodes a long time ago saying, Jevin, how come you always like do everything uh, to the to the most? Well, for one of the reasons is I'm a perfectionist. I love just doing stuff to the to the end of end of things, you know. But at the same time, if we're doing projects around here and you see stone brick, that means that you know there's a project there. And, uh, so, you know, you, you know, you, what space you have. So, uh, I'm going to get working on that and I'll come back and, um, I think I might raise the ceiling up one too, I think. So, um, yeah, th that's, uh, that's what we got so far and, uh, I'll come back and we'll see about stuff. Hey right, guys, so as I'm removing the ceiling, I'm noticing these huge caves up here. Now I knew this one was here. I didn't know this one was here. Um... And so, one of the problems with slimes is, is that if there's any other opportunity for a mob to spawn, they're going to spawn, you know, like, um, no matter what happens. So, any opportunity for a mob to spawn, there will be a spawn. And so, what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to either light those caves up really, really well, which would probably be the option, because I don't really have a lot of blocks over here. Um... But uh, just, you know, um, all in all, like, I know a lot of people do slime farms, but uh, I don't think a lot of people know the actual, uh, you know, the tech specs on, you know, slimes themselves. So if the, if, a, if another mob has an opportunity, another hostile mob, uh, they will spawn. So we need to get rid of all those dark spots around there uh, within a certain amount of it, you know, with a certain amount of area, uh, as well as we need to make sure that the slimes themselves have the perfect spot to spawn in. So lots of work to get done here, but I'm glad that I saw this because now I can light that up really well um, and we can hopefully get some slime spawning. So I'm digging this out, you know, working on it, like I said. What is that noise? I don't, I don't hear it now. Oh no, it's getting louder. I, I don't know what that noise is. Oh. Oh, is it a witch? It must be a witch. Okay. Uh, we gotta- I gotta kill that thing. It's freaking me out, man. What in the world? That noise is creepy, dude. Um... I didn't know that the- they got a- a noise. Uh, with all the other noises that was put into the game. That's- that freak legit freaks me out right now. Oh my god, these noises are insane. They're so loud. Is there a way to turn them down? Uh... Eh, maybe player? Let's turn the players down. Hostels, and then maybe we'll try to find another one. That's so loud, though. 
That noise legitimately freaked me out. Turn that to like 50. Okay, let's. I'm gonna light all this up while I'm here because I didn't even know this was, existed. Okay. No, it's still super loud. Well, I guess uh, we can't turn that noise down. But um, at least I found another cave. That way I can light this up and our uh, our slime spawner will be more efficient now. But that freaked me out, man. So I have finished up the area. Um, removed all the torches down here. Uh, made this all uh, stone. Then did, did the walls and the ceiling with uh, stone brick and then put light in both of those. Now, the spawn spaces down here look a little bit dark. The one thing you need to keep in mind is that hostile mobs can only spawn in light level above 7, right? And if you look down this our, our uh, left side of our screen, uh, it says um, XY block chunk facing light. Uh, we are at lowest, we are at 8. And those are on the corners, I think. <clears throat> I haven't seen a 7 yet. So we are above 7. Um, which means that all mobs can spawn. Or no mobs can spawn down here. So um, basically this is like the perfect condition for uh, slimes to spawn in. All the caves around have been lit up. Um, so basically we meet every single requirement. We're below 40. No other mobs can spawn. There's light above... Uh, if spawn slimes can spawn in any light condition, so that doesn't matter. But we have light enough to block out other mobs. So basically, every condition that we needed is uh, completely met. So now we need to go up to the base. Uh, I'm gonna block this off too when I come back up. But uh, we need to go up and work on the lava blade that's going to kill these guys. Um, let's go. Now, one thing I gotta remember is, I don't remember if I have lava. I don't remember seeing any either. Alright, so, um, any lava in there? Alright, let me, there, you know the best thing about this base? I love this base because of, uh, one reason. All the mobs can come in here and, like, you know, mess with you still. And sometimes I'll, like, run into, like, a random creeper. And it's, like, the sweetest thing ever just because, like... They catch you so off guard. <laughs> okay, there's lava over there. So we'll go grab a uh, bucket of lava. Now, I think the game plan here is going to be to have them flow into it um, out of our view. But maybe we'll put like a little viewing window or something. And then uh, have the collection area sort of like how we have the pumpkin area. But maybe put a slime block above it to signify it or something. Um trying to think of something like that it's gonna be kind of hard to do a viewing window with a uh, broken like ruined theme though so we'll have to figure something out maybe we'll just like use panes and not put a piece in or something uh I'm trying to think if there's anything else i'm gonna need i'm gonna need hoppers and stuff but i can get those later so let's go over here now, this won't be 100% efficient because the slimes can get caught in this. Uh, we'll use some signs. And so what's going to happen uh, is the slimes will spawn, come this way, and we're going to kill them right here. We'll put like nine hoppers in and have it come to like a chest right here or something. And uh, so we should probably put the lava blade in like right here then. So lava can flow up to four blocks, and what I think we're going to try to do is... I, I guess I could put a sign there. I don't know how lava is going to react to the other side, though. So I know it'll flow out. Let's go one back. It's probably going to flow off the side here. So that's going to flow this way. All right, so we need to go... Uh, is that gonna... Okay, so it will do that. Alright. Let's pick that up. I can fix that. <laughs> Stupid lava. Come on. <laughs> Any day now. And uh, so what we will do to fix that is... First off, I'll put a block here. Put the lava there. And then to fix that, we will put signs here. And we'll run those all the way across. 
put that there. That should control that all the way over to, uh, to the edge. And get rid of you. So when the slimes, they'll flow into that and die. Uh, and then we'll just need hoppers, probably six hoppers, and we'll make the collection area somewhere within this block right here. So I'm going to work on the collection area, get the hoppers and everything in there. We'll come back, I'll show you that, and then we'll probably move on to something else. So guys, I have been busy at work. You are going to be happy with, I think, with what I got. Uh, as always, you know, feel free to leave a comment, let me know what you think. Die, bat, die! Wow, a diamond sword won't kill a bat in one hit anymore. Anyways, let's take a ganda. And so, as always, uh, continuing our ruined theme style all the way through the base, uh, coming over to here. Put a lot of work into this, so I'm hoping this one turned this side turned out as good as the other side. The little transition there was a lot harder than it looks. Um, but uh, you know, as always, we've got our lights carrying through. Um, I need to put some vines over here. I don't know if I have one vine left. Let me grab you and we'll put you up there. So, um, this is my collection point for the slimes. I have personally seen uh, three slimes go by. So I know that the slime farm is working. Um, did all the lava and stuff over there. You can't really see it from here. I just kind of put stone brick back there because it was a lot of work. Now, to get the slime balls up, um, I haven't done this yet. So I don't know how many is down there. It doesn't even sound like our clock is working. Um, okay, well, there's something wrong because the clock is... Uh, okay. So, where is the problem? Oh, I did, uh, I did not put a block in there. There we go. So... Basically what happens is the hopper clock activates those and goes over to just a little elevator there. So let me get out of here. Put that back there. Okay. Wow, there's a lot in there. Wonder how many is in there. So 12, 12 slime balls, that is a lot more efficient than it was before, that's for sure. I'm super happy it's actually working, and we got a new part of our base done. I did forget to do the ceiling, though. Crap. Uh, a lot of my, I, I ran out of a lot of blocks, but I have more over in our little storage area. So, but this turned out really, really well, and uh, I like it. Let you guys, let you guys put what you think in the comment section below. I think it's, uh, I think our base is turning out to be super awesome, though. I am really enjoying this. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before, so this is all very new to me. But um, I think in the end it's looking good. And I even like the glass. I like the glass a lot. I don't think anything can get through there. I'd love to see a slime come up this thing. No slimy slimes. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, this thing is looking good. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, guys, so I'm over at our pyramid, which we worked on last episode. I have I plan to eventually put a path through here, uh, connecting to our other place using the pathway blocks, but some people were saying that my cactus won't grow like this, and I'm a little nervous because I haven't gotten any yet, but I, was, I, I, uh, I built this before reading anything about cactus, and so I want to read to you now what the Minecraft forum says about it. Cactus can only grow on sand, so we've got that. Uh, it grows one block every two to four minutes, so that's not an issue. And it can grow a maximum of three, uh, so we've got a space for three. Um, cactus can only be placed on sand, blah, blah, blah. Cactus does not need light to grow and are non-flammable. If a cactus has a space directly above it, it will grow. Um... And then it says, it, oh, hold on, let me read that again. So if cactus has a space directly above it, it'll grow. But if newly grown cactus has a block on its sides, it will break immediately after growth and drop as an item itself. Well, yeah. So we don't have to worry about that. But uh, these all have a space directly above it for growth. We, I just haven't seen a single one grow yet. Uh, this is the back one here grew, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to read that again. It will break. Okay. 
um, it will grow. But if a newly grown cactus, this is a newly, technically a newly grown cactus, has a block on its sides. Okay, so we have no blocks on its sides, so we don't have to worry about that. So I guess it's just a matter of time before this farm starts working. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I was also thinking about what I wanted to do with this area out here. Uh, I definitely want to put horse stables here. And I was thinking about maybe making like a little like uh, desert village maybe. Um, but I'm not sure if that's going to work or not because of the blocks that we're limited to in Minecraft. If this was modded, I could make it work. But, but being out here with what we have as blocks in the game, like the way I would want to do it, I would want like storage crates and things like that. I don't think it can work too well. I might try to make it work though. I definitely think I'm going to put another pyramid in though. I'm just not sure what I want to put in with that pyramid as well. I really want to see this thing grow, man. <laughs> it's been two to four minutes. I haven't been here that long, so I know it's going to grow eventually. Um, I guess it just needs to get going like all other cactus. But uh, if you guys have any ideas as to what I should put out here, let me know. Because, man, I just have no ideas for this area besides this uh, these pyramids. And uh, I've always wanted to build, build in the desert. But like I said, I am coming up with blanks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just chill here for a while and see if I can finally get a cactus to grow now that the chunks are loaded here. So I'll be back. Oh my god, that took forever. I have been sitting here for 17 minutes waiting for this thing to freaking do something. We made it. We got... Boys, we made it to the top. Oh yeah. <laughs> we finally got a cactus. Yeah, it was this one right here in front of me that popped. I was just sitting here watching uh, Netflix, and all of a sudden I heard it, and it was like, and I'm like, awesome. So we know that the cactus far, oh, 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 number two, we are now champions of Minecraft, it is official. <laughs> I'm thinking about what I want to do with this hidden area in our base, I think I have a pretty good idea, and uh, it's all kind of coming together for me. So, um, when we go down into this hole here, there is like tons of tunnels down here, right? And I'll show you that right now. For some reason, I feel like it's home peaceful. I swear, every time I go into that test world, it does that. Um, so yeah, there's tons of tunnels down here that we can use. I'm not sure if we're going to use those just yet. But uh, I have an idea for this room and how I want to do things. So when we come down here, we're going to hit this right here. And I think it's going to be a ladder or a spiral staircase straight down. I might use a spiral staircase because that's a little bit more classy. This will be the main, like, pathway. Let me replace that. And uh, I'm going to fix this really quickly because I replaced some of these up here. But I think I'm going to put them back as uh, as dirt. I don't want to hide too much. But when we go down into this room, for now, it's only going to be one room. But uh, the idea for this is to, um, to make this a place where we hide our extremely valuable items, basically. And so, for example, um, you know, nether stars, things like that, etc., etc. Um, so, I think I want to use a spiral staircase, which will start right here. So, let's kind of work our way. We're probably going to have to work backwards, actually. Let me pick some of this stuff up really quickly. But, uh, so the idea for this, I think, is going to be um, very valuable stuff. So, we'll hide, like, ores... Uh, that we haven't smelted or used. Um, Nether stars is one. Um, the uh, the dragon egg, uh, as well as um, let's see. I'm actually gonna have to work backwards because I don't know where the thing starts. So like right here. So hmm, I wanted it. You know what? I think we're gonna have to use half slabs. Let me. I don't think I have a. Uh, crafting table on me do I no okay um so all this valuable stuff is gonna go in this room a lot of people were saying I should make it a potion room but I have this cool idea for this area that I think he is really gonna like so the most of our base is ruins right and it's kind of like a depleted base you know etc etc well my idea for this base is to uh, you know, you know, the ruins idea is good, 
Are we still in uh, water here? Can we get rid of it? There we go. But um, I think my idea is to uh, utilize this as maybe a new area. So instead of doing ruins, why don't we do something like make a super like high tech area down here or something? I'm not exactly sure what we would do for that because I mean, it's Minecraft, so how high tech can you get? But it would be kind of cool to have this part of the base that's hidden, almost like a secret lab. You know what I'm trying to say here? That uh, people are like, oh, well, this is, uh, you know, this is ruins. You know, nobody nobody does anything here anymore. But then, like, you come into this part of the base and it's like, whoa, that's seriously cool. There we go. So we'll do a spiral staircase down. Fix that. So make sure I can walk up to there. And then, obviously, this will uh, all be blocked off. So we know where the wall's at, and so that'll go down. Now, the one thing I'm I'm uh, I'm having trouble deciding what I want to do is do I want to utilize these caves down here? Um, because if I utilize the caves down here, then that whole idea of like a super base isn't going to work. Because if we're using the cave system, we definitely want the ruined look. Because ruins with caves is like seriously the best thing ever. And so that's where I'm having a little trouble deciding what I want to do. But for today, we're going to um, just kind of get things started down here. So let's continue on our spiral staircase down. Uh, I'm not even sure if I want to make this more than just one room at this point, you know? To be honest with you, it might just be kind of cool to have one room down here. So, we'll, I don't know. I guess the future will only tell what we're going to do with it. But we'll have to wait and see, I guess. There we go. So something like that. I really like that spiral staircase too. It turned out really well. Get rid of you. Okay. Uh, so you, you, you. So that's a. Uh, really like that actually. That turned out pretty well. Um, okay. So let's finish up that wall. That'll kind of give us an idea of where we can start working from. I have so many ideas. A lot of times, it's hard to like contain them <laughs> if that makes any sense because like i'm not sure i've got so many ideas for this room it's going to be hard to decide on which one i want to actually do so can i get this all blocked in besides right there can i get through there no you and obviously i'll go through and do all the walls and stuff and we'll put lighting in there we go something like that so when we come down I want this to be like in the center and we'll walk into the room. Uh, so we might just, you know what, we might just, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make an official decision right now. We're going to make this one room and we're going to make this room to whatever we want it to. So this is going to be where we can break the walls or do whatever we want. So when I walk in, I want to look at the dragon egg right in front of me, like a straight ahead. I want two ender crystals right next to it. And along the walls, maybe on one side, I'll want uh, ore storage or something. And on the other side, maybe nether stars or beacons, something like that. Uh, we'll have to figure out a way to do that evenly. Um, or we could do a separate storage area for the ores and have like uh, nether stars on the walls or something. So but for the most part, I think this is going to be like a square room. But I do want it to have uh, some different texture to it. So... What I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to kind of clean this up a little bit and uh, get a feel for the room and how I want it to look. Okay, guys, so I have kind of cleaned up things down here a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with this build, but I'll show you the stairway so far. Um, goes up and uh, just to where we had been. I think I got rid of all the stone brick. That, yeah, you can't even see the stone brick anymore. Uh, so when you go down, uh, it's going to go into that room, like I said. I'm not in a hurry to finish this room, but now that we have a solid idea, I can think about what kind of build I want to do down here. Um, because, you know, it's going to be, I want it to be like a really like glamorous, not I guess not glamorous, but like a really sweet looking area. And I can't just do that right now because I am, I'm having builder's block or something, but uh, for the most part, it's, yeah. 
I'm running low on ideas for this area, but it's fine, because I still got plenty of ideas that I want to do for the rest of the builds and all our base. And just this room is giving me some blocking. But uh, other than that, I think that is going to do it for this episode, as uh, as I say. And I hope that you guys all have a fantastic day. Thank you for all your support, guys. This is iJevin, 